Before we start the review, I wanna talk about what I'm making. So here, I'm redrawing a scene from my first OC animatic, Rocket Ships. And this is when Monaco first met Nikolai, where she accidentally bumped into him and fell to the ground. If you haven't watched my animatics yet, please do so, and you know, maybe you'll enjoy them. The link for the official Little Pickle Tom playlist is in the description below. For starters, Gaumon PD1220 has 11.6 inch monitor and a full laminated screen with 1980x1080 resolution. Its pen is battery free and has 8192 pressure sensitivity, as well as 60 degree tilt function. To read more details about Gaumon PD1220, you can check it out on Amazon. I included a link in the description. Installing the driver was pretty easy. The problem was that my laptop can't detect the pen at first. So what I did is to plug both the USB-A cables to my laptop instead of plugging one of them to a power source. It's in one of the manuals, so you can read that if you're having trouble setting it up. The downside of what I did is that it now occupies both of my laptop's USB plugs, but it can be easily fixed by acquiring a splitter. I also noticed how smooth the pen glides. It's really satisfying to use and it doesn't feel like the pen is clutching the screen. However, I did find it hard to produce more accurate lines because of this. It's something that may take a while to get used to, especially for those like me who came from drawing tablets that didn't glide as smoothly. Another thing is that it doesn't have any express keys, so while this may seem cool and minimalistic, I think most tablets have those, so it's also something to consider if you're planning on purchasing PD1220. I have been using the same tablet model ever since I started doing digital art. So it's honestly quite a challenge for me to get used to not having the same set of or any express keys at all. Also, it has good quality display and vibrant colors. I did find it hard to calibrate the screen though. I mean, it's easy to navigate, but I found it impossible to match my laptop screen's calibration. It's not bad, rather, it just doesn't sit right with me that I can't match them. And so, after hours of trying to calibrate it, I gave up. Because, you know, either suck at it or it's impossible. The pen display itself is not that lightweight, but it is lighter than I thought it would be. So if you're worried about portability, I think it'll be pretty easy to carry or to slide into a bag or laptop case. But if you're, say, a laptop user like me, and you wanna draw on one location and then relocate to the next, it'll be a hassle to set up. I know this is just me being too used to having a tablet that only has one thin cable. But the amount of cables I have to plug in every time I want to relocate my setup isn't completely hassle-free. And it isn't sightly either. It can be fixed by having a Type-C to Type-C cable which is unfortunately not included in the package. Good news is, it's probably easy to buy online. If you think about it, all my qualms about PD1220 can pretty much be resolved by two things. One, buy additional stuff to make my life easier. And two, get used to it. All in all, it has high quality display and great pressure sensitivity. You know, all that stuff. I definitely recommend this to both beginners and to those planning to upgrade into using display tablets. Big thanks to Gaumon for sending me this lovely PD1220. I was really excited to make this review. And of course, thank you so much to my August patrons, Sinon, Dilitaius, Abel, Alian Callister, British Camper, and London Comic. 